Okay guys, so today we are going to be doing another part or another installation on the beginner basics of survival. And today we are going to be talking about the rule of threes. And before we get into this, as always, please don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe, and tell me how awesome I look in all my summer getup. Because finally, it's warm enough that I can dress like this. So now let's jump into it. Okay guys, so like I said, today we're going to be talking about the beginner basics to survival. And, or the rule of three in the beginner basics to survival. Now, this has been covered pretty heavily on YouTube, but I actually did some digging around and found that there was another part to the rule of threes that hasn't been covered. So I figured I'd do my take on this and kind of explain how I use the rule of threes. So to start off, what is the rule of threes or what are they? Breaking it down is, is first is air. And you can last, you can last live about three minutes without air or without a steady stream of oxygen. The next is three hours without uh, proper shelter or proper cover in extreme conditions. The next is uh, three days without water and then it goes over to three weeks without food. And then lastly, the one that no one ever seems to cover is three months without love. Now I'm gonna break down that last one in a little bit and explain it because like I said, I actually went to Hood's Woods and those are the people who made the rule of threes and they explained uh, that one in particular better than the rest of them because they're all kind of obvious. But anyways, so now let's kind of jump into how I use this rule of threes in a practical manner in a survival situation. So one of my primary reasons I like to actually break this down instead of just, you know, spouting all this stuff off is because more than just understanding these basics like stop or the rules of three, I like, to, or I like you guys to see how these types of mentalities can help you in survival. Because when we talk about the rule of threes, what it really is, is a type of objective system to help you survive. And so how I like to use uh, the rule of threes is actually in conjunction with the stop method. And if you guys didn't watch the first video of stop, I would highly recommend you go check that one out. And in that method, if you did watch it, the, I like to roll in the rule of threes at the second letter. So there's stop, think, observe, plan. In my thinking process, what I do when I stop and I think is I like to gauge just how bad my survival situation is. And so what I'll do is I'll sit there and think in my particular survival situation, do I have air? Can I get air? Okay, I'm breathing just fine, you know, I can breathe. So I have more than three minutes. And, you know, do I have shelter? Okay, I have shelter. I can last more than three hours. Okay, I have water. I can last more than three days. You know, okay, I have food. I could last more than three weeks, but I might not have that last element of love or hope. So that would become my objective that I would have to work toward finding or work toward getting, accomplishing that objective so that I can continue to live indefinitely. So that's how I like to use it. And of course, as you go along, if say you don't have water, well then it gives you that ability with using the rule of threes to work toward getting water. And one of the most important things in a survival situation, once again, going back to the rule of threes, is ultimately staying task focused. You don't necessarily want to get fixated on a task, but you want to work toward different tasks. So say my list stops at water, okay, I need to get water. Now I'm gonna work on going out and getting water, or say I need food. I'm gonna go and work toward getting food or this or that, you know, shelter, if I need air, working toward getting air. It gives you a plan of objectives to work towards to keep your mind busy and not on the fact that you're lost or that you need to survive. So now let's kind of break into the rules, the different like food, water, air, and love. Okay, so these all are pretty self-explanatory when it comes to, you know, water, air, food, shelter. Obviously, if you are deprived of any of those, you want to work toward getting them as fast as possible because, or within that time frame. So you want to work, if you need to, you want to work toward getting water. You want to work toward getting food. 
you know, these different types of things. Now, the only one that really needs explanation, and when I first saw it, I was like, definitely needs explanation, is the three months without love. Now, that means, and as they broke it down in or on uh, the Hood's Woods, what I looked up, is that love isn't just really like loving a person, but it's having hope, having some kind of mission or goal or fight to continue on. And that has been proven in different survival situations where people have had the different things they've needed, such as water, food, shelter, all those types of things, but yet they still ended up dying because they lost their hope. They lost their will to continue to fight. They felt that no one was looking for them or that no one's coming out to get them. So they just died because they had lost that hope. So when they say love or this last one, being love, it means having some driving force to continue to live, to have some force, sorry, some hope pushing you on day after day after day. Even if you continue to be lost, if you continue to not be found, you need to continue to push forward. It's a lot like how in Castaways, even though I don't like Tom Hanks, how he befriended that little volleyball. It seems really dumb, it seems really simpleton, but that volleyball gave him that sign of hope, it gave him that sign of love. And so that allowed him to continue to survive, to continue to try to live, to continue to fight for his survival. And so that's a really important thing. So anyways, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this quick look at the rule of threes, and I've been able to explain this all. As always, guys, God bless, and I'm out.